Hello, I'm Joe McEldry and you're watching Entertainment Focus. How are you? I'm very well. Busy, um, but it's going very well. It's quite hectic and I, I, although I'm playing one role, I'm playing a lot of different roles in the show. Um, obviously, from being the person that breaks from the deaf, dumb and blindness to the person that is, to the narrator. It's quite a lot of stuff to remember. So I'm a bit... <gasps> so pretty full on for your West End debut. Yeah, I mean... I can't, it is a West End debut, but it's a very, I think it, it's a different show to what people will expect, in a good way. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Um, and, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of singing, which obviously I'm used to. It's more just acting through the songs, which I suppose is, is nice in a way because it's not too far out of comfort zone. But playing the roles a bit, when I first walked in, I was like, <gasps> Because I'm with some pretty amazing cast members. Some of them are so experienced and incredible that when I first walked in, I felt like they'd be like, who the hell's he? But they've all been incredible. It's really nice to have that support behind you as a, as a um, cast. I'm, I've never been used to that. You know, I've went on stage and it's normally just my voice and the band. And it's nice to be with your band, with your band players. But it's normally you fending for yourself with your voice. So to have that vocal power behind you just picks you up and it kind of like catapult you into the audience which is really nice well, we were just talking to Daniel Boyce and he was just seeing your praises saying how great you are and that he's been in awe of you in rehearsals oh really um, so we're <laughs> expecting pretty good things here has he really yeah he's what he's just said oh that's I'm flattered I mean they're all incredible he's incredible um, so I don't know why they say that about me I must be doing something right but no it's I, I am just enjoying it you know I'm I, what I'm trying to, not to do is take it to Seriously, because I think that's when it, I tend to hold back when I take things too seriously. So I'm enjoying the the pressure in a nice way, and you know, I, obviously, I want it to be brill, and I want it, I want to be the best I can be. So I'm just trying to enjoy the experience, because normally I panic about. I've, I've got the point now where I can I'm starting to enjoy a lot of things in my career. Whereas before, I'd always be worried and panicking, and I, um, so I made a pact with myself not to panic about it too much. You know, that doesn't mean I'm not nervous, but it just means I'm enjoying the experience and the process of. Rehearsing, you know, it's very rare I get this much rehearsal. Normally, I'm rehearsing in the back of a car on the way to a gig, so it's nice to have three full weeks with everyone and gel with everyone and really bash out the role and, and get it right. So, how did this opportunity come about? They asked a couple of about a month ago if I would be free, um, and at first it was touch and go if I was going to be free because there was something else going. Well, I feel like I might have been something to do with the album. Um, and then it ended up being changed, the dates, we ended up managing to reschedule some things so that I could do it. And I watched the film, and obviously I know Roger Dalton through the Teenage Cancer Trust. Um, so I knew a, a, a vague background, I mean, manager's a big Who fan and no, loves Tommy. Um, so she was like, have a look at it and see what you think, because I think it would be really good for you to do. And I, and I was looking for something that would be different to what people would expect, so I felt like it was the ideal opportunity to kind of go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this, you know, and, and see what happens. And do you think, may it lead to more theatre work, do you think, perhaps? Are you kind of testing Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like it's been made like a big, bold statement. It's like, this is the first time in the West End, and it is. But I don't want it to be like a message of like, right, this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life now, or this is like, this is it. Do you know what I mean? I kind of just want it to be an experience that proves to people I can do other things as well. And if that leads to, to doing something in the West End, I'm always open to the idea anyways. I, I love musicals. So if, to me, it would be great to do a run in something eventually, but it has to be the right thing. You know, it has to be the right thing, the right time, a time when I can really commit myself. So this was an ideal opportunity to really try it and dip me, yeah, dip, put me foot in the water, see, see what happens, see if I like it, see if I enjoy it. I'm loving it at the minute. And you know, see if people like it. You know, that's the most important thing. Depends if the audience, like me, is playing a different character. Well, judging from the reaction that your fans are having on Twitter, um, they've been tweeting at me saying how excited they are and they were clamouring to get tickets as soon as it was announced. So there's a lot of excitement and anticipation there. Fingers crossed. I mean, I really hope people enjoy it. I hope that, and I, this comes from me as well, I hope people can take me out of the equation and see me as a part of the show. Because I feel that's important as well. You know, I don't want people to come and think they're seeing Joe from The X Factor, or Joe the singer who's brought out albums. I want them to see me playing a role. So hopefully, I, can, I mean, that comes from me ultimately. So hopefully I can deliver that as well as people coming in with kind of 
an open mind and not uh, not I'm coming to see Joe McEldry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't I don't want that to sound arrogant. It just I creatively I would like them to see me slotted into the show instead of just you know. So it, there's a lot of pressure, but it's fun pressure. So since we last saw you, I think the last time I saw you was when you launched your Christmas album. Gosh. Was a while back. That was a while back. Um, and you've been pretty prolific since then. You've obviously the Christmas album did well. You've got the new album this year. Um, how's that all gone? It seems like the years just seem to be going like this and going Tell really quickly. Tell me about it. <laughs> no. Um, well, you know, I really en I enjoy working. Do you know? I, I ask for. I, I complain when I'm working. I'm like, I need a week off. And then I get a week off and I'm bored. So um, I, the more the more the merrier. I'm just like, let's keep going. As long as people want to hear them, as long as people are going out and supporting them, I'm like, let's do it, you know. Um, so I did a lot of songwriting on it. I spent a lot more time on this album. Did a lot of songwriting on it. Did a lot of song searching, um, whether it was a cover or originals. Because I wanted to kind of show, again, development. You know, not just do another album full with covers. Um, I wanted to show that I was really taking things seriously and kind of taking the reins a bit and treating it like a little baby. And uh, people seem to have really enjoyed it. You know, we went number eight in the first week. Um, we're, just, we're getting a lot of support from Radio 2 and other stations as well, which is fabulous. Um, so it's great. People seem to be really enjoying it and the fans loved it, which is always a good sign. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with the way it's gone so far. And has it given you more confidence to do more songwriting in the future? Definitely. De you know, I mean, I'm always doing that now. Um, I'm, I'm already itching to get back in the studio. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm making another album yet, but I just kind of, I'm always interested in just doing, you know, creative, being creative. You're going to give Rihanna a run for money, aren't you? She That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, you're going to be, <laughs> no, do you want uh, six months, beat her I know, day? I know. We beat her last year. We did one in three months, two in three months. So, um, no, I, it's not, it's not even about getting them out as quick as possible. It's just about if the demands then people want them, it's about, well, why not? You know, let's give people what they want. Well, one of the things I've always noticed when we talk to you is you're always thinking about the next thing and you're always getting very excited about the next thing. So that's a good drive to have. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm looking forward to, I'm, we've got Tommy and I'm doing the thriller um, for Children in Need, a few other dates, finish off the promo for this album. I'd, I'd like to say I'm going on tour next year. We're, we're discussing it at the minute and working out where's possible and when. Um, but other than that, I kind of want to just, I'm going on holiday at Christmas, I want to just go away and think, right, okay, what do I want to do next? You know, I think it'd be nice to just see what the options are, you know, and see where, what I want to do. Mostly, ultimately, I'd love to go on tour. That's the, that's my main driving force at the minute. Um, but after that, you know, who knows? I don't know yet. So my last question to you is, sell Tommy to us. Why should we go and see it? Tommy is, has an incredible storyline, um, an incredible cast in this production. Um, the music is incredible, and I think in parts of it, it'll, it'll have people on the edges of the seat because it's very different, I think, to what people would have seen on the film. Um, although it keeps in story, in, in, it keeps with the story of the film. It's very different, the stage production's different. I think it's exciting, um, and yeah, th there's something about it's very quirky and I'm looking forward to people seeing that and the cast are incredible, it sounds incredible from what I've heard the other guys singing so I kind of want to sit in the audience and watch it but <laughs> I've got bigger things to do than sit and watch. You'll have to get someone to film it. So yeah. Is it being filmed Definitely. now? I'm not sure actually. Not, not sure. Well maybe, maybe you'll see it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully.